If you have been playing update 15, you will know that these hacker keys are the most important part of the update, unlocking things like the brand new enchant, the new free to play huge, as well as all of your progression in the clan battle. So in order to be successful in update 15, you are going to have to be as efficient as possible at getting these hacker keys so that you can get all of these things. Now, if you don't follow the setup that I'm about to show you in this video, you are most definitely going to fall behind because people are moving very fast with this update. Luckily for you guys though, my clan and I have been testing a ton of different builds for getting these keys and I think I found the best one. And the good news is with this build, it is extremely free to play friendly. It's not very expensive at all. So all of you guys should be able to use it immediately. So sit back, relax, and let me show you guys what you need to get these hacker keys. All right, you guys. So first of all, let's just go over the basics because there's a lot of little things I tend to forget with these setups. But honestly, your efficiency with getting these keys is going to rely heavily on all of the little things that you do. So even though I am going to show you pretty much the best enchant setup up that you could possibly use for this that setup might not be what determines how efficient you are at getting these keys so as you can see i'm getting a ton of loot and drops right now so starting off with the most basic thing you definitely want to be using the hasty flag now i've seen a lot of people saying that you should use the exotic treasure flags because they're supposed to substantially drop items in your area now while this does make a ton of sense and i can see why you would think that what we actually learned in the last clan battle that was the prison key clan battle was that there is a whole separate drop table for items so it actually doesn't matter with any of the treasure hunter items they really shouldn't determine how much keys you actually get now i understand that that is a crazy concept and a lot of you guys probably won't believe it but i still do use treasure hunter things in this setup this is just what we know about so far and because of this reason is why you want to be using the hasty flag for sure because the name of the game with getting these keys is just being able to destroy as many breakables as you possibly can so basically in order to do that the hasty flags are always going to be the best flags for stuff like this as well as the hasty flags you definitely want to have your sprinklers going at all times because as you know the sprinklers actually makes the breakables spawn even faster so the faster the breakables spawn the more of a chance you get at getting the keys at the end of the day the only thing that actually increases your chances of getting these keys is being able to go through breakables faster so the more breakables you have and the faster you can go is always going to be a benefit with stuff like this which also leads me into part two of this build so you're definitely going to be wanting to use the pet surge ultimate now what the pet surge ultimate does is basically supercharges your pets kind of like the hasty flag but on crack so if you do the hasty flag plus the pet surge combine it your pets go absolutely crazy and destroy even more breakables. As you can see with builds like this, your pets are actually destroying more breakables than the ones that you can see on the map. I also just found out my pets follow taps was on for some reason. I was wondering why they were moving around it so weird, but definitely make sure you have that off just so you're not like making them all hit one at a time. But yeah, when pets follow taps is off, your pets will be hitting as many breakables as you can. And you're usually getting more drops than breakables on the screen. So this pet surge is just absolutely crazy. The ultimate is probably just one of the best in the game because of how fast it recharges. As you can see when I'm grinding, it's going up like to a second which is absolutely crazy and there probably is a ton of people saying that you should use the hidden treasure ultimate so you can greatly increase the chance of random drops now the reason why the hidden treasure ultimate doesn't work for getting these keys is because it is a whole separate drop table so anything that increases the chances really doesn't do anything for the keys because it's a separate drop now at first i truly didn't believe it because it doesn't make sense to me and i honestly don't think it should work like this but after testing with the prison keys this is what people found out in the glass clan battle so if this clan battle aligns with that last clan battle which was the same thing essentially it was just prison key drops it should be the same in which none of these treasure hunter things actually help with drops and we also tested this within our clan and found that none of the treasure hunter things actually helped very much so we tried out using treasure flags the hidden treasure ultimate as well as just treasure hunter books now the bread and butter and probably what you guys are here for in the first place is the enchant setup now here it is you guys obviously you don't need a super magnet technically i think this area is small enough to where 
where you could actually just use a regular magnet and it would be fine but obviously i just use my super magnet with every setup so you can replace this with a regular magnet 3 if you need now remember when i said that speed is key for getting these hacked keys that is completely true and that is why we actually have two speed five books in this setup because we want our pets moving at the max possible speed so they can break as many breakables as possible and a lot of people in the comments of the last video asked me if speed 5 actually does stack if we look in the big games api which you can find on my discord in research links if you want to check it out for yourself speed 5 actually does stack so you can use two of these books and i definitely suggest it for setups like this now i know you guys are probably thinking mateo you just told me treasure hunter does not work for helping these key drops now while that is true and treasure hunter should not help your key drops at all i do include it in this setup because it actually doesn't slow down your key drops so there's no point in really not using it and when you have all nine enchantment slots like this we actually don't have any more enchants that would actually help so that is why I actually filled these last two slots with the Treasure Hunter 9s. But obviously you don't have to have them in here. I just have them so I can also be making some drops income while I'm grinding. So moving on, we also have the Fruity Enchant. So obviously this just increases the powers of your fruits by 25%. Now I definitely suggest using it. It's definitely a lot better if you do have your Fruit Mastery all the way up. Which I definitely suggest if you are grinding in this game. Fruit Mastery is so good. I know it is extremely expensive but trust me it is so worth it never having to worry about eating fruits and always staying on 100 is so helpful especially if you get to use this fruity enchant now i have seen some setups with people using two fruities and according to the big games api the fruity enchant actually does not stack so i wouldn't use two of them in your setups just stick to the one but it is definitely a good one another really good enchant for these setups would actually be the happy pets book now the happy pets book obviously makes your pets move faster and attack quicker so that's always a good thing definitely a good addition for builds like this in my opinion this is definitely an essential part of the build for getting these keys at this point point. and then next up we have a criticals 9 book so i actually think i don't really need this right now but the only reason i have it is just in case random like event things spawn so if events like the superior chest spawn or just mini chests in general anything that actually takes more hits that's why i have the criticals on this build but i don't actually think it's necessary because my main pets actually three hit most of the breakables anyways if you guys didn't know there is a pretty low damage cap in the game so if your pets are able to destroy breakables in three hits that is the max amount of damage that they can be doing so adding anything that actually supports your damage from that point doesn't really help your breakables but it does help things if you have things like boss chests boss lucky blocks any of the big things that actually have more health those damage enchants will help but since we are only just trying to farm for breakables having any damage enchants actually doesn't help us at all so all of that yapping pretty much just means if your pets can't three hit breakables then you do need damage enchants on this build but if your pets are already three hitting breakables then you don't need damage enchants at all now currently i am able to do all that damage with just this 11 trillion hacked skeleton so i would would suggest going ahead and buying this if you need it as you can see the rat value is only 2 million so if you have a bunch of exclusives or something that is a pretty good deal to get a good amount of damage and then finally probably one of the most surprising but almost most important parts of this build is actually the explosive enchant so as you can see if we read the description it says pets have a chance at igniting an explosive so if you just watch here you can see there's a ton of little explosions going on while they're grinding now this is actually really good because it damages multiple breakables at a time which is exactly what we need for setups like this so because the explosive enchant actually doesn't make us do more damage to one breakable it actually makes us do damage to multiple breakables it is perfect perfect for what we need and some members in my clan actually have done some testing and saw like a 30 percent increase in the amount of keys that they got when grinding with this enchant versus without it now of course we've only had about 15 hours to test this so we aren't a hundred percent sure but from early testing that is what we have seen and we definitely suggest you 
use it in your build if you want to get the most amount of hacked keys possible. Now, if you are free to play and only have six slots in the game, I would definitely remove the criticals enchant, the treasure hunters, and basically just have these two here. So essentially what you're going to want is the speed books for sure, because your pets moving quick is what is most important with this build. And then of course, happy pets also helps out with that because it increases the pets movement speed and attack speed. And then explosive also helps with just breakables in an area. And then basically we have fruity. Now, if you aren't doing enough damage to breakables and you do need some damage enchants, I would actually remove this fruity and then put a criticals book. And then if for some reason you actually do need another slot, I would then probably remove one of the speed five books. But essentially right here would be the free to play build with only the six slots. As you can see guys, this setup is super cheap. So pretty much every one of you guys should be able to do this. And I definitely suggest it. Now, obviously the super magnet isn't cheap, but you can just use a magnet three if you do not have this enchant, but pretty much everything else is under a million diamonds. So you definitely should be able to afford this. Now, if you guys are going all out for a setup for these hacked keys, you definitely want to get this hacker key hunter book. Now in my full loadout, I would replace the criticals book with this hacker key hunter enchant, but currently on the first day of this event, I am not willing to pay 2.4 billion for this enchant. If I were you guys, I would definitely wait a few days to go ahead and buy this. I'm not sure it is truly worth it right now, but if you guys truly want to get as many key drops as humanly possible, definitely include this in your setup. It's just not really in my budget right now. Now on top of your enchant setup, if you do have a team of huges, I already made a video this week talking about charm stones and made a whole charm tier list, which I basically said which ones you should always have on your huges. Now I do suggest you watch that video, but if you haven't watched it already, I definitely suggest putting agility charms on your huges. And if you really can't afford it, definitely putting royalty charms is a good thing because royalty charms actually increases your pet's speed, damage, as well as diamond gain. So that speed and damage combo in one charm slot is really good and I definitely suggest it for a clan battle like this because of course we're trying to move as fast as we can and destroy breakables as fast as we can so so having speed and damage on your huges is really good but if you can't afford the royalty charms just yet having those agility charms is very good. Now on top of your charm setup being important for this clan battle another thing that you can get is actually this area surged effect. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure that the area surge is always in one of the five areas in the hacked world but if you ever find it you definitely should move your pets over here if you guys didn't know already the area surge effect actually increases hack key drops by two and a half times honestly every time you see that it spawns in which you'll see with a message right here on the screen you guys should definitely be moving your huges over there just so you can get as many of these key drops as possible that boost is actually very good besides that you guys there is actually one more mechanic in the game that actually increases your key drops and that is actually a friend bonus so if you actually have friends in your lobby while you're grinding you actually get a 10 percent bonus for each of those friends in the game now it turns out your friends actually can join your private server the only thing they have to do is actually join the game through your profile on roblox so if your friend is in a private server and you want to join them all you have to do is go on roblox and click on their name and then join their game through their profile and that actually will allow you to go into their private server and then you can get that 10 percent boost it'll actually pop up somewhere down here now this does stack up to three times so you can do this with up to three friends and get a 30 percent boost now we did test this with our clan and had some of our clan members grinding together and it didn't really seem like it actually helped at all it's honestly kind of hard to tell with these things but if you guys want to go ahead and do that it might be beneficial but currently at this point in the game i think it's just best to grind by yourself in a private server now if this video did help you it would mean the world if you guys would help me by subscribing to the channel and liking the video thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and peace out